If you're not friends with one of the hall monitors, you're not living. Count one, two, three. What's up? I'm back with another video. It's Naya, and today I'm going to be giving you guys the realest high school advice you've ever heard in your life while straightening my hair. I do one of these every year since I've been in high school, and I feel like this one will probably be the most genuine, realest one. I'm graduating high school now, and like I feel like I can really look back on everything and verify, you know. So, like, everything I'm telling you guys, experience. Without further ado, let's get into it so let me heat up the straightener 380 i'm gonna be putting this flat iron perfector stuff in my hair no, nobody really truly give a about you until they need something the easiest example i can give even though it's very minuscule if you have a car and these girls that you never talked to before you have one class with they're younger than you or they don't have cars they want you to take them to lunch what are they gonna do talk to you yeah not only that there's like more bigger examples i can give i'm just trying to, trying to keep it very general right now but if you guys want like story times and stuff from my high school experience that i can do that won't incriminate myself do not skip class with the wrong people look i'm not saying that i'm advocating skipping class but you know some days mentally you're not there you can't just be like hey mom i'm not going to school unless you have like a cool Parent, like don't skip class with the group of kids you know always gets caught and that's all peppa what if my hair doesn't go back curly after this don't be rude to teachers it's not cute uh, you can entertain your classmates another way mm. invest in a planner you won't seem like an old lady if you have a planner i'm telling y'all and also use the reminders app on your phone and let me tell y'all that junk is so amazing even for the slightest thing everybody used to think the reminders app was one of those apps that you just throw into the folder called utilities and never touch but honey we it's 2019 we are not forgetting anything eating alone is okay if you're not friends with one of the hall monitors you're not living let me tell you a quick little story so one time i was skipping my class i had went to go get lunch right and the class that i had right after lunch was art we were literally just taking our sweet time so we got back like 30 minutes late to our class and then i saw the cool home i was like hey billy that's not his name i'm just making it up can you do me a favor and take me to my class and say that i was in the counselor's office or something like you know because obviously I can't get a pass from the counselor's office if I wasn't really counseled. So he did it, bro. And that art teacher was sick. You know, like one of those. He was so clutch for that, honestly. Brief intermission. I'm actually about to do my closure now. I'm really scared for this part because the bundles I knew were straight because their bundles are from Tina She Hair. But I got the closure from the beauty supply for $20. So if it burns, then I will be taking my hair out. Okay, we didn't burn. Back to advice then. You definitely will cry at school at least once in your four years. If you're not gonna cry, you're gonna tear up at least once. Oh, senioritis is very real. I don't care what anybody says. Let me tell you also, junior year. I don't wanna talk about it. I feel like you really know if your friends are really your friends during junior year because of how hard it is. And it's not really it's not only hard academically because you have to you have the SAT, you have to study for the SAT, whatever, whatever, regardless if you want to take it or not. I'm gonna do this side now. Okay, not all underclassmen are annoying. Most of them are, but not all of them. Don't be to the actual antisocial kids and the weird kids because they didn't do anything to you the reason why i put so much emphasis on the real antisocial people because i don't know if it's just the school that i went to or they want to act so antisocial and act like they don't mess with anybody and just act like they're so introverted but how are you introverted when every saturday you're at a party or you're having a party or you're hosting a party what nobody really has my back for real i'm alone like shut up like you're you're hanging with friends right now as you make this post. Don't make fun of the special needs kid. And it's okay to laugh with them if they're already laughing or if they're intentionally making a joke. Listen, listen, honey. Confrontation is sometimes necessary. 
I don't care if you're unconfrontational. Don't let people bully you. Don't let people walk over you. Coming from a TNI. and i I'm not even the type to argue with people. Like, after a couple of words, I'm like, okay, get on my face. Like, if you're not about to hit me, get on my face. Oh my goodness, everybody, please listen to this one. Do not do drugs in school if it's your first time. <laughs> I don't mean do drugs in school if you're like familiar with them but like come on now like don't smoke for the first time in school this girl she was a freshman hit a wax pen in school it was her first time ever why did we get put on lockdown because sis was screaming in the bathroom and running around the school or something like that listen to me clearly when i say this if you have a friend that plays the victim every time there's something going on there's a situation Please drop said friend. Trust me. I know. I had this friend. Like, we were really close. No cap. Thought we were going to be friends for life. But before we even fell out, I peeped it. But you know, it's one of those things where you don't want to lose a good friend, so you don't want to say it, and you don't realize that it's a bad thing at first. You just think it's a part of their personality. But no. And if you're going to fight somebody in this plan, fight outside of school. That's not really hard to grasp. Unless they touch you or spit on you in school if, if somebody hits you puts their hands on you spits on you throws something at you out of anger or out of trying to initiate a fight hit them back oh bro this one might get a little deep for y'all but i'm just letting you know in advance if you're in high school yet or not that you're going to fall into peer pressure at least one point or another and it's not always a negative thing Peer pressure can be as simple as get into this car, we're going shopping. And you don't want to go, but you do it anyway. I know people that like haven't smoked or drank yet, but they still fall into peer pressure any other way. Listen up, listen up, lady, listen up. Watch out for the F boys. Cause they will do anything and say anything to get where they want to get. I'm going to do a whole girl talk video about boys. So as I'm on my last piece of hair, last but not least, Please go talk to your counselors. I know you watch 13 Reasons Why. Do not think all the counselors suck. All the counselors in the real world suck. Because they don't suck as bad as he did. And he didn't even suck that bad. He just hesitated during his job. Like, not all counsel counselors are bad. They're actually really good people to talk to. I actually love my counselor. And this is what the hair looks like. You guys can see it's still flowing, period. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching or you're new, subscribe. Tell me, hit 1K before my birthday. My birthday is in like 30, 40 days. So like, please help me. Follow my social medias. They're on the screen right now. And follow my TikTok also because I love TikTok. Bye, guys.